Paris for first time visitors. Shopping, art, food, culture, where to start, what to do? By Barbara White Crockett. A travel and culture freelance writer, she has studied and lived in Paris and returns regularly. Finally, after dreaming about it for so many years, you're going to Paris. There's so much to do and so little time. However, with proper planning and a sense of adventure, you can experience the true essence of Paris. Irrespective of budget or time frame, all you need is a good pair of walking shoes, an Uber account, and an open mind. Let's go! Morning Suggestions Ile Saint Louis Mornings in Paris are special, and your first morning should be one where you establish your agenda for the remaining visit. No better place to start than at the center of old Paris, the Ile Saint Louis, Catrium, a tiny natural island located in the middle of the Seine, just behind Notre Dame. You will find a quaint, narrow street bursting with small shops, restaurants, hotels, and locals beginning their day. Or roam around the perimeter on the quay overlooking the Seine. To me, this is the quintessential experience where you are transported into the Paris you have always imagined and a great spot for a selfie. For a morning visit to Ile Saint Louis, I usually find myself at La Brasserie Dalila for a quick cafe, omelette, and croissant. Here, actually, it's less about the food and more about the ambience and organizing your day. All while enjoying a seat at the center of old Paris. Number 2. Notre Dame, Pont Neuf, Cordier Latin, Jordan de Luxembourg. After, you'll want to meander through the adjacent streets, do a little shopping, and maybe grab an ice cream before heading over to Ile de la Cité for a quick walk around the exterior of the Capitale Notre Dame de Paris to admire the gargoyles and the lofty flying buttresses. Ravaged by the fire in 2019, the interior may not be open. Then make your way to the left bank, 40 Latin season, via the Pont Neuf. Built from 1578 to 1607, this World Heritage Site is the oldest existing bridge in Paris and reveals ornate sculptures worthy of a moment to pause. To complete your late morning exploration, take a stroll up the Boulevard saint michel Cithian, the student bohemian district of Paris, where you'll find bookstores, amazing creperies, and sandwiches to go. The Boule Miche is an area where you can deviate from your plan, make your own personal Parisian experience, and wander until your heart's content around the adjacent small street, many of which lead to the Boulevard Saint-Germain. Here, there are even more boutiques, patisseries, boulangeries, and the ever-famous Café La Deux Magots. Continuing back to Boulevard saint michel take another quick sidestep to the Rue Saint-Jacques, one of the most picturesque streets in Paris for a quick selfie. But on sunny days, it's certainly worthwhile to end your morning at Gerard du Luxembourg, crepe in hand, sit and enjoy the massive gardens and the architectural beauty of the Luxembourg Palace. Number 3. Sacré-Cœur Another tour best pursued in the morning is a visit to Sacré-Cœur Basilica. With its glistening white dome located at Montmartre de m be prepared for a challenging hike up steep streets that twist and turn, combined with many steps or have an Uber deliver you to Place de Terre. Once there, you can actually climb the 300 steps inside the Basilica for an amazing photo op. Or just come early to experience this site of famous artists like Toulouse, Lautrec, Picasso, and Vincent van Gogh, and avoid the bulging crowds of tourists who will arrive later in the day. Don't leave without taking another selfie in front of the Sacre Coeur, with all of Paris as your background. Afternoon Options Mornings quickly blend into afternoons as you lose track of time. The architecture, balconists, neighboring grocers, and galleries can easily interrupt your progress, as many galleries, shops, and restaurants do not begin to open until late morning. The afternoon is best saved for shopping and venues that open later. Number 1. The Right Bank, Palace Royale Walking through the arcades of the Jardin du Palais Royal Premier, 
brings me back to the time of French royalty. The palace itself is now used for government offices. Here you'll find columned arcades filled with designer boutiques, upscale cafes, and restaurants, where you can watch school children kick the soccer ball while government officials walk to and from their jobs. Number 2. Rue de Fabou saint honore You are coming to Paris for designer fashion, exquisite jewelry, perfume, and the inimitable French macaron. The Rue de Fabou saint honore is the place to explore. Whether for shopping or people watching, this is where the chic international celebrities can often be found. From Hermès to Christian Louboutin, the boutiques are unparalleled. La Dulée is world-renowned for their macarons, and the well-known Guerland offers the highest quality perfumes. Number 3. Place Vendôme Close by, the Le Hotel Costas is also favored by the rich and famous, and easily accessible by both the Rue de Faubourg saint honore and the Place Vendôme. This five-star hotel offers spa treatments as well as late-night cocktails and dining. If for no other reason, watching the glamorous people as you have tea or cocktails is worth a visit. The nearby Place Vendôme, which centers around the well-known copy of the Trajan's Column, also houses very high-end shops and of course, the famous Le Hotel Ritz. Number 4. Champs-Élysées it is not a trip to Paris without walking the famous Champs-Élysées and exploring the Arc de Triomphe. Although this iconic tree-lined boulevard overflows with thousands of tourists, it exudes electricity and offers a great spot to watch the world go by, as you take a break for a coffee or a glass of wine. Also, nearby is a well-known chain restaurant, La Entrecote de Paris Rue de Marigne. Reasonably priced and famous for its specialty steaks, fries, and secret sauce, people stand in line to wait for a table. It's a fun, casual place for lunch or dinner. Number 5. Muse d'Orsay Another great afternoon option, especially for art lovers, is Muse d'Orsay, set M. To avoid the tourist rush, the best time to visit this amazing Impressionist museum located in the renovated train station on the left bank is after 3 p.m. A totally different experience from the Louvre, here it is best to take advantage of the English audio headphones while admiring the wonderful pastel paintings. Evenings in Paris Evenings in Paris are magical. As the sun goes down over the Seine, the city begins to sparkle, centering around the Eiffel Tower which bursts into hourly light shows. If you have no specific plans or budget to do any evening event, take an Uber ride around the city and check out how neighborhoods are transformed into theatrical spectacles. Number 1. Musée de Louvre For any trip to Paris, the Musée de Louvre is a must-see experience. Why is it listed as an evening suggestion? The Louvre is open at nights until 9.45pm on Wednesdays and Fridays. At these times, there are no school visits and fewer people. The nighttime atmosphere makes the visit more intimate and the IMP pyramid twinkles as you approach this daunting structure. This is a great evening option for first-time visitors. There are many restaurants and bars nearby for dinner or an aperitif. Number 2. Bar Hemingway Paris became famous as much because of extraordinary thinkers authors and artists who lived here during the late 19th century and early 20th century, many of whom hung out at cafes, saloons, and bars, as did Ernest Hemingway. Honoring his name, the world-renowned Bar Hemingway at the Hotel Ritz Premier is an excellent club-like bar and cocktail lounge, where visitors from around the world enjoy the original creations concocted by the celebrated mixologist bartender. Hemingway himself spent many hours in this famous drinking hole. Here you are encouraged to chat with other patrons and have a party. Number 3. Batomosh. There is no better way to experience Paris at night than by boat. Enjoy a delicious traditional French meal and bottle of wine as your sightseeing cruise slowly meanders down the Seine. 
and illuminates the iconic monuments and important sites of the city, with music playing in the background. Or, you can actually take a similar, shorter cruise at night just to see the sights, without dinner and sit outside on the deck in the fresh air as you watch the city roll by. Number 4. La Concierge Evenings in Paris offer many dining and late night cabarets and club options which generally change with the seasons. So it is preferable to check with your concierge in your hotel for the best local recommendation. A good concierge is invaluable, so make him or her your friend. Whatever choices you may make, Paris is the most exciting in the evening and during the late night hours. The markets and the nearby attractions. To be immersed in the daily lives of regular Paris citizens, walking through the numerous open markets is a must. Number 1. Rue Claire, Rue Maffetard. One of the more famous markets is found on the Rue Claire Set M, offering amazing specialty foods, chocolates, and flowers. The cobblestone street is original, the people are local, and the photo opportunities are numerous. Here you can stop at any of the many cafes, one of which is Café de Marché, offering a great view of all the action. Or visit one of Paris's oldest open markets on the Rue Maffetard Saint M, teeming with lots of local energy from the adjacent neighborhoods. The open market is where most Parisians do their grocery shopping on a daily basis, so it's fun to observe how they carefully choose their foods and wines just for one evening meal. Number 2. Marsha Grinnell Eiffel Tower However, my favorite is Marsha Grinnell Set M, offering a glorious array of foods and goods. This smaller, covered market located in a lovely neighborhood just next to the Eiffel Tower, open Wednesdays and Sundays from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m. Whichever market you visit, and there are many all over Paris, the vendors will offer everything from fresh cut beef to desserts, flowers, candles, and tablecloths. For me, the cheese vendors are where I head first. Rows and rows of creamy French cheeses are presented at the optimal ripeness, which combine beautifully with a French baguette and bottle of wine. Number 3. Jean Dumas Eiffel Tower Dual Burn After a stroll through the market, Take your baguette, wine, and of course a chunk of famous French cheese for a mid-afternoon picnic. Find a spot on the Champ de Mas under the looming Eiffel Tower, 1887-1889. This is an excellent way to experience the Eiffel Tower and spend a leisurely afternoon where you can take in all that Paris has to offer. And if you are looking for a special place to celebrate a birthday or anniversary, the five-star restaurant, Jules Verne, located on the second floor of the Eiffel Tower, offers amazing views along with excellent cuisine, on your own. While volumes could be filled advising each new visitor to Paris about what to do and see, I encourage everyone to try to occasionally deviate from your original plan. Walk in the neighborhood of your chosen hotel and discover a favorite croissant, cafe, boutique, or local restaurant. Each block, each arrondissement in Paris exudes a special personality. Getting to know your own neighborhood will make your first trip to Paris a uniquely special experience. Whether for a long romantic weekend or an extended family vacation, you'll never be out of things to do or see in Paris. So don't even try to do it all, because once you have fallen in love with Paris as I have, you will be sure to return again and again.